वेलकम वेलकम एवरी वन आई एम सुभाषेश चंद्रा एंड आई वेलकम यू टू अवर सीरीज कॉजमॉस इन द लास्ट पार्ट वी हैव सीन अबाउट द सन एंड इट्स टेरेस्ट्रियल प्लान टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लुक इन टू द रिंग जायट्स दैट इज द जॉवियन प्लान द फोर आउटर मोस्ट प्लान जुपिटर सैटर्न यूरानस एंड नेपटून लेट स्टार्ट विथ our first planet jupiter or brihaspati as it's known in india jupiter is named after the roman deity jupiter the king of the gods and it's aptly named so as it is the largest planet in the solar system and the most massive one it is twice as massive as all the other planets combined it has an elliptic orbit with a perihelion of 741 million km and an aphelion of 100, 817 million km the time required by it to revolve around the sun is 11.86 earth years on its axis it rotates in about 9 hour and 55 minutes this is the fastest any planet rotates in the entire solar system sunlight requires 43 minutes to reach jupiter Jupiter has a no true surface the internal structure has a solid rocky and metallic core surrounded by liquid and gaseous layers composed of hydrogen helium and other elements because of the gaseous nature of the planet it is a gas giant the temperature range uh, is about minus 160 degrees celsius the planet is uh, mostly uh, swirling gases and liquids the extreme pressures and temperature deep inside the planet can crush melt and vaporize anything that try to fly into the planet it has an atmosphere of hydrogen and helium the atmosphere is contiguous to the uh, structure that is beneath it the axis of rotation is about 3.13 degrees with respect to the plane of orbit and hence jupiter has no seasons life is non existent in jupiter jupiter has 79 known moons and of these 79 known moons the four galilean moons io europa ganymede and callisto contribute 99. 997% of the total orbiting mass even though the moons are uh, named after uh, galileo the name of the moons were given by simon marius who also independently discovered the moons just one day after galileo in 1610 the moons io europa ganymede and callisto are respectively the fourth sixth first and third largest natural satellites in the solar system Ganymede is even larger than the planet Mercury. There is more water on Europa than on Earth, and the moon Io is the most geologically active celestial body of the entire solar system, with nearly 400 active volcanoes. Jupiter has a faint system of rings, which was first observed in 1979 by the Voyager 1 space probe, and was thoroughly investigated. in 1990s by the galileo orbiter it has also been observed by the hubble space telescope but uh, ground based observation of these rings are difficult the ring system is faint and consists mainly of dust it has four components a thick inner halo a relatively bright thin main ring and two wide thick and faint outer gossamer rings now let's move on to the next planet the most beautiful planet in the solar system saturn or shani as it is known in india saturn is named after the roman deity saturn the god of wealth and agriculture it is the second largest planet in the solar system and is about 5.7 into 10 to the power of 26 kg in mass it has an elliptic orbit around the sun with the perihelion at about 1352 million kilometers and the aphelion at about 1514 million 
kilometers. It revolves around the sun in 29 earth years and it rotates on its axis in 10 hours and 40 minutes. The sunlight requires 80 minutes to reach Saturn. Saturn also has no true surface just like Jupiter. It has a dense core of iron and nickel surrounded by rocky material which is enveloped by hydrogen and helium in liquid and gaseous form and hence Saturn is also a gas giant. The temperature on Saturn is about minus 140 degrees Celsius and the atmosphere which is contiguous to the internal structure of Saturn has hydrogen, helium and other gases. It is actually tilted at 26.73 degrees with respect to the plane of orbit. Life is non-existent on Saturn. If we have a big enough tub of water in which we can dip Saturn then Saturn won't sink but will float as its density of 687 kilogram per meter cube is less than that of water. Saturn is the only planet to have density less than that of water. Now let's move on to uh, the thing which makes Saturn the most beautiful planet in the entire solar system, its rings. The rings of Saturn are the most extensive system in any planet in the entire solar system. They consist of small countless particles ranging in size from micrometers to meters that orbit around the sun. The ring particles are made almost entirely of water ice with a trace component of rocky material. They were first observed by Galileo in 1610 but were explained in detail in 1655 by Huygens. The photographs that we see today were mostly taken by the Cassini Huygens uh, mission in 2000s. These are the inner rings of Saturn D, C, B, A and F. Let's take a trip through the uh, rings of Saturn. You can see the B ring right now which is the largest of the uh, rings. You can see the Huygens gap now, the A ring, the Keeler gap and the F ring. Let's look into the satellites of Saturn. Saturn has about 82 moons. We will be looking into 5 of them. Titan is the second largest moon which has the atmosphere of nitrogen. Titan is also bigger than the planet Mercury. It is believed that when uh, Sun will enter into the red giant phase, Titan will become habitable. Rhea is the second largest moon of Saturn and the ninth largest moon in the solar system. It is the second smallest body in the solar system after Ceres for which precise measurements have confirmed a shape consistent with hydrostatic equilibrium. Tethys is a massive ball of ice and like other Saturn moons, Tethys also shares its orbit with Telesto and Calypso. Enceladus is a very interesting moon. It is also a massive ball of ice similar to Tethys but it is very shiny. It has the highest albedo of any celestial body in the solar system. Albedo is the extent to which an object reflects light rays. Enceladus reflects more than 90% of the sunlight that it receives whereas our moon reflects only 7% of sunlight it receives. Cassini has also observed that huge plume of water is spewing out of the moon's south pole. This suggests that Enceladus is geologically active and has a potential to support life. The last uh, satellite that we will see is Iapetus. This is one of the most unusual looking objects in the entire solar system. One hemisphere of the moon is very bright reflecting about 50% of the light that uh, it receives whereas the other hemisphere reflects only 3% of the light that it receives and is pitch black. We will move on to our next planet, the third in the series, Uranus or Arun or Indra as it is called in India. Uranus is named after the Greek deity Uranus, the god of sky. All other planets are named after Roman gods with an exception of Earth of course. Uranus is visible with the naked eye from Earth but it is very faint and it was not until the 
night of 13th March 1781 when William Herschel discovered it through a telescope. Thus, Uranus was the first planet to be discovered using a telescope. It is the third largest planet in the solar system and the fourth massive one. It has an elliptic orbit with a perihelion of 2741 million kilometers and an aphelion of 3004 million kilometers. It requires about 84 Earth years to revolve around the Sun. It rotates on its axis in 17 hours and 14 minutes. Sunlight requires 2 hours and 40 minutes to reach Uranus. Uranus, like Jupiter and Saturn, has a no true surface. Its internal structure has a rock, rocky core enveloped by mantle of water, methane and ammonia ices. Uranus has ices whereas Jupiter and Saturn has gases and hence Uranus is called an ice giant. The temperature on Uranus is about minus 224 degrees Celsius making it the coldest planet in the solar system. It has 82.5% hydrogen, 15% helium and 2.3% methane in its atmosphere. The methane in its atmosphere gives it the characteristic blue-green color. Uranus has the most interesting axis of rotation. Its axis of rotation is 97.77 degrees with respect to the plane of the orbit. This highly tilted orbit makes it move sideways when it goes around the sun. We'll look into it in a little bit. Life is non-existent on Uranus. As you can see in this figure, the Uranian system has a unique configuration because its axis of rotation is tilted sideways nearly into the plane of its solar orbit. Its north and south poles lie where most other planets have their equators. This extremely tilted orbit gives Uranus extreme seasons. The planet's north pole experiences 21 years of nighttime in winter, 21 years of daytime in summer and 42 years of day and night in the spring and fall. Uranus has an extensive ring system. The majority of Uranus rings are opaque and only a few kilometers wide. The ring system contains little dust overall. It consists mostly of large bodies 20 cm to 20 m in diameter. Uranus has 27 known moons. We are seeing 5 moons here, Titania, Oberon, Umbriel, Ariel and Miranda. One interesting aspect of the uh, Uranus moons are that they are named after characters mentioned in works of William Shakespeare and Alexander Pope. We come to the end of our journey of planets in the solar system. I present to you the last planet, the farthest of them all, Neptune or Varun as it is called in India. Neptune is named after the Roman deity Neptune, the god of sea. It was first discovered by Johann Gale on 23rd September 1846 based on the predictions by John Couch Adams and Urban Leverrier. It is the fourth largest planet and the third massive one having a mass of about 1 into 10 to the power of 26 kilograms. It has an elliptic orbit around the sun with the perihelion at 4444 million kilometers and aphelion at 4545 million kilometers. It revolves around the sun in 165 earth years. Sometimes the Neptune is even farther from the sun than dwarf planet Pluto. Pluto's highly eccentric oval shaped orbit brings it inside Neptune's orbit for a 20 year period every 248 earth years. Neptune requires 16 hours 6 minutes to rotate on its axis. Sunlight requires 4 hours to reach its surface. Like all other giants covered in this video, Neptune has no true surface. Its internal structure is like Uranus, rocky core enveloped by mantle of water, methane and ammonia ices. And hence, 
Neptune is also a ice giant. The temperature range at Neptune is minus 201 degrees Celsius. It has an atmosphere of hydrogen, helium and methane. Neptune is our solar system's windiest planet. Despite its great distance and low energy input from Sun, Neptune winds can be three times stronger than Jupiter and nine times stronger than Earth. In Neptune, the speed of such winds can go up to 2000 km per hour, whereas in Earth, it only goes up to about 400 km per hour. It is tilted at 28.32 degrees with respect to the plane of orbit. Life is non-existent on Neptune. Neptune has five distinct named rings. In order of increasing distance from the planet, they are Gale, Leverrier, Lassell, Arago and Adams. The Neptunian rings contain a large quantity of micrometer sized dust. As a whole, these rings resemble mostly that of Jupiter. That is, they are faint, narrow, dusty ringlets and even fainter broad dusty rings. Neptune has 14 known moons. Of that, Triton uh, is the biggest and a few smaller ones are shown. The moons were named for various lesser sea gods and nymphs in Greek mythology as Neptune is the uh, god of the sea. Triton is the seventh largest moon. It is the only moon to have a retrograde orbit. It is very cold and is made of water ice crust and frozen nitrogen. Proteus is the second largest moon of Neptune. Its shape is close to a sphere and is very dark. Voyager 2 is the only space probe to uh, probe the Neptunian world. It is very difficult to see the Neptunian satellites as they are very small in size and orbit close to Neptune. This is the size comparison of the four giants, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. This is the size comparison of all the planets of our solar system. In the next part, we will be looking into the dwarfs, Pluto, Ceres and other paper belt and wood cloud objects. Till then, stay healthy, stay safe. Thank you.